Dogs are special creatures in relationship to, to mankind. And I believe that through having a dog, you can deepen your relationship spiritually with yourself and with other people. She's, she's my little companion. Um, she never really lets me out of her sight. Uh, today, the main course is uh, chicken and sweet potatoes and barbecue sauce. Um, I've got grape nuts mixed with uh, yogurt, protein powder, and amber toast powder. I've just got simple white rice. This is the fuel for the body. It's sugar, it's terrible for you unless you're exercising constantly like I do. Ready to go to work, huh? Huh? Okay, let's go. And Ruby and I take the bus to work. Um, she is a very obedient little dog. So she lies down on the floor of the bus and is never a problem for the passengers. <laughs> then we go to the dog park. Uh, she gets to see her little friends. And corgis are English herding dogs. Uh, they're very high energy, very intelligent dogs. Life of a corgi is the life of a herding dog, and she needs to run, and she needs to be with other dogs to be happy. <laughs> and so Ruby gets the dog park three times a day, uh, before work, after work, in the middle of the day. So she usually spends two hours a day at dog parks. And also, after every ride, uh, she gets a little bit of time to get out of the basket, stretch her legs, and chase a ball. Then we arrive at the pedicab shop. As a pedicab driver, I escort the guests and visitors of this city, the tourists, around and I show them the most beautiful places in the city and really some of the most beautiful places in the country and I see it fresh through their eyes every day. I, I don't think of it as everyday routine, I think of it as how lucky I get to be to take part in this and do it for a living and make money and exercise and be outdoors and uh, meet people from all over the world. Uh, you just can't say enough good things about this job and the lifestyle that it affords you. We have a fleet of 20 bicycles which is shared among maybe 50 drivers. Um, each of the drivers comes in and uh, rents the bike for a portion of the day so we have more drivers than bikes. <laughs> Sometimes I think even whenever I'm not giving someone a ride, I'm still improving people's days. Because what is cuter than a dog in a basket? It requires a certain amount of salesmanship and negotiation uh, to get someone into your cab because they could easily walk the distance, but they come into the pedicab for a special experience. Ruby! Oh! Hey, well, thank you very much. Hi, Ruby. Hi, sweetie. We have any bread in your box? It's the dog's life. <laughs> so I always tell people it's Ruby's job to bring people to the bike, and it's my job to take them where they need to go. Because no one can resist the dog, and everybody comes up to say hello. And after I talk to them for a few minutes, then maybe they get in the cab. I give her 100% of my time, my energy, and my love, and she does the same for me. And we are very, very happy. So, for me, it's a very special relationship that the two of us have. And uh, whenever I ride the pedicab out here, um, it allows me to share her with the world. And I believe that because she receives so much love and attention, that she can give that to other people. And even if it's just a brief moment, people coming by to say, what a cute dog you have, may I pet her? Or whether it's someone taking a ride and uh, coming with us on a journey, they get to experience some of that love too.